Hi everyone, you join us here in Almeria where we've just finished our ride uh, with CF Moto where they've brought down a range of their models uh, for us to ride on a range of roads from motorway to street to mountain passes and everything in between. It's been an absolutely fantastic day and we've been able to ride uh, a full range of, of their lineup from this which is one of their flagship models which is the 800 MT Sport all the way down to the 300 SR which is uh, their sport racing model. So as I mentioned we spent most time riding uh, the 800 MT uh, Touring model. The one you see in front of us is actually the the sport model so there's a few differences in terms of the uh, the sport and the touring but at the heart of it it's, it's pretty much the same bike so it's a uh, essentially a KTM 790 adventure engine so it's got a really solid motor uh, at its heart. I've got to say in, in all sort of conditions it performed really well and, and the motor in sort of every sort of rev range whether you're down low sort of pootling through town or you're sort of giving it a bit more up in, in the mountain roads it's um, it's a really nice motor and it's got a really nice pickup um, and when you when you get it singing as well it's a, it's a really nice bike to ride uh, and that motor is sort of a key part of that. In terms of the tech on this bike, there's some, there's some really nice features that I think make it stack up to, to competition in its class. So you look at bikes like the Tenere 700, you look at bikes like the Motoguzzi V85 TT um, and KTM 790 Adventure as well. Um, you could put it in a test against those bikes and it would it would perform admirably because of the, the way it's finished and, and the way it performs in sort of all those different conditions like I mentioned. The Touring model that we spent sort of the most amount of time on, um, slightly different to the Sport model, so it's got the spoked wheels, same size wheels as well, so it's 19 inch front, 17 inch rear, uh, but they're spoked so a bit more sort of bias for off-road uh, riding too. Uh, it's got quick shifter and a blipper which, which I must say work really really nicely, again whether you're at low speed or sort of higher speed and you're going up through the, through the gears, it's really smooth and that made gear changes super easy, didn't upset the bike at all when you change through the gearbox it was just really smooth really silky and, and, a, and a joy to use talking about being in the cockpit finish of the bike is uh, is done really really well uh, paint work finished absolutely lovely things like the seven inch tft dash which has everything that you need displayed on there it's really clear we had some sort of low light conditions early on and then as, as the day went on we had sort of glaring sun and in all that kind of conditions works really nicely adjustable screen as well so if you're doing a bit of touring um, and, and sort of high speed motorway speed adjust that screen and you've got really nice wind protection and also talking about wind protection, the way the tank sort of wrap around, wraps around your legs, just sort of feel like you sit in it, you're really snug, it's a nice place to be, really, really comfortable. Seat is nice and wide, nice and padded. We did a lot of miles today, we did about 170 mile loop and no, no aches or pains whatsoever, really nice. Uh, riding position and some of the nice touches as well so uh, the touring model that we spent most time on adjustable suspension front and rear as well so if you want to do a bit more off-road riding you can adjust the suspension if you've got if you're going two up for example you can adjust the rear shock or got a bit of luggage and you can change that which gives you some sort of nice adaptability then comes a little bit of a downside so the bike comes in at 231 kilograms dry weight which slower speed you do feel it is in turns it's a little bit wallowy but then when you're on a higher speed stuff it's sort of you can't really notice it. it the, the way that the bike's set up in terms of uh, chassis and suspension, you, di you didn't really notice it in the high speed stuff. But yeah, slow speed around town, it was a little bit heavy. And also being a, a, a tall bike, uh, when you're coming to sort of stops and if you're a little bit off balance, that weight can potentially catch you out. I think especially if you're a shorter rider. But do you know what? For a big adventure bike like this, uh, it wasn't too much of an issue. Price in the UK is roughly £11,300 and they should be available uh, like the rest of the CF Moto range from March. Um, so that's going up against the likes of uh, the Tenere 700 and the World Raid model, uh, Moto Guzzi's V85 TT, KTM 890 Venture and 790 Venture, which is coming this year. Sort of sits in that ballpark, but as I mentioned, I think uh, you put it up uh, to test against any of those and I think it would perform admirably. Some other nice little touches I really liked, you've got two USB sockets and you've also got a 12 volt power uh, socket as well. So if you're riding in winter and you want some heated kit and you've got a sat nav and a phone to charge and that kind of thing, super easy. Um, and that's located at the front of the bike, which is really, really nice. Panniers are an option, uh, although you get the mountain brackets on a standard, uh, luggage is an option, but you can get that directly from CF Moto. But overall, I really enjoyed riding the 800 MT. I think it was a, it's a superb bike to, to ride on road, especially. Uh, we didn't have a chance to take it off road, considering it's sort of KTM identity in terms of uh, the power delivery and the motor. Um, suspension felt solid, felt really, really good. Um, I imagine when sort of some light green lanes and that type of stuff, I don't think you'd want to do too much hard off roading on it. Um, but in terms of sort of gravel tracks and, and green lane that you might do in the UK, uh, I think it would perform absolutely fine, especially the touring version with the uh, the spoke wheels and the slightly more off-road bias tyres. As I mentioned, there's two models in the 800 MT range, which is the Sport and the Touring. Both are powered by the 
essentially the KTM 790 Adventure motor, which pumps out 91 brake horsepower and 75 newton meters of torque, which performed absolutely fine. And there's not much more you could want sort of out of an engine in this type of bike. It was, you know, more than we needed today. So uh, riding in the UK, that'd be absolutely fine. So to sum up, CF Moto should have uh, all of their models in dealers uh, by, by March this year. Uh, currently, um, with the KTM distribution side of things, they've got eight dealers and they're looking to grow that. Um, but they're, they're still from the old distributor. There's still some dealers sort of knocking around with some stock. But in the new guys under the KTM distribution, uh, yeah, eight dealers currently looking to, looking to expand and all models should be in dealers uh, by March. So if you want to go and test ride one, um, you haven't got long to wait and you can go and do that. It's also worth mentioning that each bike comes with a four-year uh, manufacturer's warranty, so really good peace of mind if you're looking uh, to buy at CF Moto. But overall, fantastic day, fantastic ride in here in Spain, and uh, thank you to CF Moto. Thanks for watching.